Hello, this is Broy, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Factorio, playing our train world. And I have finally gotten all the miners set up. Uh, I also went out and put a little bit of ammo along this western border. I also set up a, uh, a stone mining thing just to feed our, our walls over here, because there's a bunch of stone over here. Might as well use it for walls and, and not mess with any of the other stuff at the moment. So that will take care of that. One thing we do need to take care of here pretty quickly is that we are currently not um, supplying coal to our, uh, our power. So let's uh, make sure we get some belts and run some coal over there. Uh, we got a little bit of time, not much. <laughs> we got to get this going pretty quickly here. So let's run down here and get us some stuff. Grab a bunch of those. We'll grab some splitters as well. We're a little bit low on those and eh, whatever. We'll grab a little bit of everything. We shouldn't need any more miners at the moment. Um, and uh, that should be okay. Uh, wrong thing. I want to build some. Uh, what are we missing? We're missing copper cables. Let's get a few lights because we're going to want to put some of those down here in a moment as well. Let's run this over here. Let's get this power pole out of the way because it does not need to be there. Apparently, it does need to be there. There we go. <laughs> Something like that. And we'll just run this all the way over here to where our coal will be coming from. I may move this a little bit here later, but for now, just want to make sure we get some coal coming in. Now, we don't have any coal coming in over here because these things are currently full. And so, one of the things we will want to do is... Probably just for a couple of these. Um, well, maybe just for one of these for now will be enough for the moment. Let's get us a bunch of boxes here uh, to kind of make a little bit of a buffer thing here. Just just so we can start feeding some stuff through. Um, let's do it all down here. That's going to be okay. Just some is, is, is fine. I'm, not, I'm, I'm overthinking it probably a little bit. Uh, we'll do the blues just so that it goes a little bit faster. And uh, get your power pole down here. All right, just just to get the, the coal, uh, the coal uh, iron flowing through a little bit, we'll get a little bit of copper flowing through a little bit because I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these yet. I need, I need to figure that out. Uh, and in the meantime, I want to make sure that these are not blocking us. So let's get a few of these down here as well. Uh, need some more iron boxes. We need some more iron plates for that. Because I do need the coal to start coming through. Which it should here in a moment. Yeah, we're going to be close to running out of power. So I may have to run over there and, and supply some things here in a moment. Of course, we're using power to, to make power by using these boxes in the first place. But that's all right. Buffer chest can be good just long term anyway, um, just to make sure you're kind of covering everything. Uh, as far as like having a, a, a supply, like if you run out, you at least know you have the buffer chest. And if you notice that you run out, you're like, OK, wait a minute, I need to go get some of this. But I have a little bit of a cushion at that point. I um, guess we should get some of the stone as well while we're over here. Just to. Again, finish off this buffer thing, uh, which does mean you need to come from. I'll just bring you from this one for now. That'll work. Let's put a bunch of this on there. All right, that should keep us power for a bit. We're getting the coal flowing through. That's the most important thing. Now, obviously, these chests are going to fill up and then, you know, the coal might stop again. But hopefully by then we've figured out um, how we're going to do our setup so that the stuff's flowing through properly. Okay, good. All right. Uh, so let's get some stone stuff down. Few, few extra power poles, but what are you going to do? All right, so there we go. So everything's flowing. Um, all of the miners are flowing through. And obviously the ones that are heavy on iron are not flowing quite as quickly. We're still getting a relatively slow trickle of coal, but honestly, we just need a trickle uh, for the power supply. And so I think this is going to be okay. 
we actually broke all of our connections to the ones that are feeding our um, our uh, mining situation. Um, so we don't we don't have any of our priority setups at the moment because they're all just ignoring that at the moment. All right, but yeah, that should get that should get us plenty of power, I think. Uh, they're starting to run out. Are they going to get over here in time? Mm, where's our line? There's a, there's a few coming in. Let me just go get a stockpile of it from up here. Fill in some of those just just to make sure we're jump started. Stuff doesn't fall apart. Probably waited a little bit too long to, to hook, this, hook this back up, but that's all right. All right, I think that will jump start us pretty well. Actually, these down here still had a little bit of available. Uh, and it's coming in. I mean, it's trickling in. It's not super, super fast, and it's a pretty small trickle, actually, at the moment. But uh, we'll get that sped up in time. I mean, part of it is, you know, there is a lot of clutter in the way. And we got we got more coal miners than we had previously, but those coal miners are also mining up, um, you know, other things. Can we filter these? It'd be awesome if you could filter these. Because these are doing coal, but some of these are probably doing iron. Ah, actually, these are all doing coal at the moment. That one's doing iron, for example. And I don't think there's any way to uh, tell it to do coal, as far as I know. Unless, can we, like, put coal in there and say, hey, do coal? Because I think once it starts mining th something, it might continue to mine that until it just can't anymore. If we were to do, yeah, I don't think that's going to make a difference. All right, fair enough. All right, well, we got, like I said, we have a few that are mining coal in here in the middle. We are getting some coal trickling through here. Um, very slow trickle of coal, though, to be honest. We just got to do something with these materials, really, is the biggest thing. We could also cut off some of these external ones for the moment um, that don't have coal and just let the ones that have coal come through something like that and that will only let the ones that have coal seep through here And really all we'll do at some point is when we get done with this buffer for the moment, once we get these hooked up, we'll just spin these around and just have them load onto the belt uh, at that point and uh, feed back out from these. These are just, just to get things moving. All right, let's let's uh, let's figure out how we want to get these hooked up, though, because um, I think that will be important to uh, kind of putting us in the situation we want to be in. Probably just hook these things back up the way we w wanted to or what we had them originally. Um, I'm not going to hook the coal up yet, though, to be fair, so I guess... That could slow some things down. The fact that the coal's in the middle of all of this is probably the most problematic part. I mean, I could trim back the miners uh, between the coal and the front and just let the coal come through. Yeah, because these are just doing... These are just so full of iron at the moment. It's because these back... Oh, that's what I need to do. I need to trim the back ones, not the front ones. Because the back ones fill first. That's, that's, that's the difference. All right, let's do that then. Let anything before our coal miners, we'll just cut off for the moment. No, oh, can't get through there really. Um, whatever, we'll go around. <laughs> I was going to get rid of that miner, but I'm like, eh, then I'll just end up putting it back later. Should get some landfill, fill this thing in. Um, so we got that one trimmed off. We need to trim this one off and that one. Because I got to remember that I did this later. All right, so that should allow... I did it all in a row there, but that should allow more coal to start getting on the line. Yeah, look, there's a lot more coal coming on the line now because they're able to get onto this full saturated belt. 
And it doesn't matter that the copper and stuff like that are in the further down because it will mine the coal first. It mines from the back forward and that should take care of that. So between uh, cutting off some of these other ones and cutting that stuff off, that should allow more coal to start coming through here in a moment. Now we might go a little bit low before they get here. Here it comes. Slowly but surely. Now part of it's also because these two are feeding into the same one. I, I discussed that, I think, previously, is that this will work, but it's just, um, it is slowing down these two lines, which just happen to be the two coal ones. Uh, if these two were on separate lines, that would actually be better. But it's coming. Once it once these get to the front, it will, it should be okay. Got a couple lines of coal coming in. All right, well, let's figure this rest of stuff out. Uh, if we start using the iron, then it will uh, speed that stuff up as well. All right, so how do we want to do this? I may actually want to run the coal up a level, which means getting rid of some of this stuff. It does block that for just a moment, because I want this to maybe be over here. I still need one there, but like we can do an underground something over here. Something to that effect. Something like that. Um, well, that does put us pretty close here. We may have to spaghetti this pretty heavily. I want the coal just to be here, but give me some space for the other things to come through here in a moment. All right, so now we're starting to get some coal coming in. I see that coming in now. That's the thing with the way this is set up. We don't have a lot of maneuvering space here. Do we have landfill? We do have landfill available. Maybe we should set up some landfill being made so I can fill in some of these lakes. That'll give us some more maneuvering room. Because I gotta do like a, a turn here is essentially what I need to do. It's gonna be kind of the start of a, a little bit of a an ore bus, if you will, uh, before we can get to a different bus. Um, so how do I want to do this? I mean, one big thing would be to space these out with the two gaps between them. Oh, oh, there we go. Here comes the coal, though. It's coming. It is coming. Just a little too, little too late. That's okay. Once it gets over here, we got a couple coal things to, uh, yeah, here it comes. It's coming. These look, these will, that's why you see it blinking just a little bit. You just need to get a little bit in here from these guys. Just enough to kind of keep it, keep it going. So once the fuller, you know, the more of them come in that, uh, they'll be able to power these things and, uh, we'll get, be back up and running in here in a second. Here comes the line. It's coming. Yeah, see, even some of these are starting to fill up a little bit more. Barely starting to get some power. And the fact that we're not running anything right now is, is basically helping. We're not running very much. We have a lot of miners running, I suppose. But even some of those are currently cut off. So here comes the line. This is this is all. This is good. Obviously, as our power blinks, our miners up here are starting to have some gaps. But that's the problem with running out of, out of power is that it's hard to get kick-started back up because... Power powers your miners, which your miners power your power. So it's a vicious cycle of uh, craziness. But once this line gets over here, I think we will start being okay. That's why these first uh, four or five or whatever they are are burner inserters instead of power inserters. Normal inserters, I should say. That way we can start getting some power when we don't have power. All right, so now we're starting to power some of these. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay now, unless we get another big gap, which we are getting some few gaps here and there, but I think they're gonna start working themselves out. No, oh, here's a big gap right here though. Oh, that's because these things are full. 
That's fine. That's fine. Um, we need to just, we need to do something with these. Um, so the furthest iron is over here. So this iron right here. Just need to uh, pick it back on this line here, probably. Uh, the coal can come through here, actually. Let's put us a splitter right here. And priority, I'll put priority left. Anything that's extra, we'll just swing over and come over here. Right, so then this will be, could be iron. We can go under. That'll work. It's going to get iron set up on that so that we get it coming out. Oh, there's a big gap in, in power. Yeah, because we're not doing the iron right now. Um, but this right here can just come right through. We won't flip these around yet because I, they'll, they'll start filling up some of this. Once we start losing, a little, you know, draining a little bit, we'll we'll flip those around here in a little later. These other ones can kind of go underground as needed. But no, that should start getting some more. Yeah, I was gonna say that should start getting some more coal coming in right away. And that'd be too little, too late. But we'll go. We'll get it there. All right. So more iron needs to be coming to here. So I guess we'll do it right there. Get rid of that for just a second. Very spaghetti, but it's going to be okay. Even just getting more iron on the belt here is going to help things quite, quite a bit. I mean, belts themselves are, are buffers. All right, and we need to get some coal. We'll just split it off here, I think. Just because it's easy to do. Uh, I'll put priority to the right. Anything extra can come over here. Which probably won't be much extra, to be fair. Uh, apparently there's a little bit... I mean, there's a little bit already on here, so... Alright, whether or not this gets here to the front in time... Uh, we got a decent amount of coal already over there. I think that will get to the front in time. And now, look at this. Look at how much coal we're getting coming through now. A lot more coal coming through now. Alright, so those are the two iron. We need to get some copper set up. It's not going to be easy, given this, where we're at right here. Let's do some uh, stuff like that. We are going to need to get some coal coming down here. This will be output priority right. Go like that, and then the copper and kind of just come up there. Oh, that'll work. It's very, you know, snaky and spaghetti and all that stuff, but... Early bases are, I think, are meant to be spaghetti. I mean, that's not entirely true, but it feels like it. All right. Not a lot of copper coming through at the moment. Um, so I think we are safe to actually turn these around. Empty those out. Once those get emptied out, then we'll be we'll be okay. And then maybe uh, once these are start flowing through way better, then we can start plugging in some of these other lines that, that we have. Uh, for example, copper would be, well, in order to do copper, we'd have to really cut back some of the stuff that's back here, which we can do that because we're getting a lot more iron because those are further back. So that actually might be what we need to do is do that kind of whole split off thing kind of around here on some of these like upper lines, get some copper coming through those. Actually, let's go ahead and do that now. Maybe. Um... Do it on these stone lines, because these stone lines, we definitely don't need the stone that much. Let's cut it off, like right before the copper. Just a couple lines, honestly, should be plenty. And then we can hook these back up. Most of that stone should flow through, and then we'll start letting some copper come through. All right, well, that'll work, and that just gets us running. I mean, again, look, the coal's coming through just fine now. I mean, we got plenty of coal coming through now. Um, and we'll just plug those things back in as things start to run out. Cool, I like it. Well, then, that's about all we have for this episode. Let's go ahead and grab some more uh, ammo. 
and let's go run that around real quick. Looking good over here. Just gonna like fill these up pretty much at this point. Really? Man, some of these are almost full. That's a good sign. Full full gun turrets means we're not using the ammo, which means we're not getting attacked. There we go. Well, we didn't quite make it all the way around, but Steve's got a decent amount. Uh, actually, these up here probably should get some more. Let's just take some of our own personal bullets. Plug some of these in. Oh, that's a lot. But that'll, that'll buy us some time. And we'll work our way around some more as we get uh, more bullets later. Anything else we're missing that's not currently plugged in? No, I think everything's got the ore that it needs for the moment. We're getting the stone from the left. All this stuff coming from the right. Could use We can actually get some of the stone over here. And actually, that might be a good idea. Um, because I did mention that we would like to get some landfill. Um, let's go ahead and plug that up real quick. Because that will not take long to set something up over here. Kind of where we actually want the landfill anyway. Uh, let's just run the belt down just so I know where it's at. All right, let's grab a couple of assembly machines. We'll just pull them off one side. It's going to be okay. I honestly don't know that we need that many. Just some, start making some. I'm just going to actually send these back north for now. Throw into a box up here. How fast do these get made? Um, landfill. 20 stone. Okay, we're going to need a lot of these going in. But the output should be okay. Yeah, I might, might need that. All right, let's bring some power down. And I guess we can flip these around for stone since we did cut off our stone. Although, if we cut off our stone, that means we're <laughs> going to run out. But maybe this will be enough to get some landfill coming in. And uh, then if we need more stone, we can, we can always add in a couple more miners. I mean, it's take like no time to make landfill, but it takes forever to fill up. One landfill. Forever to fill up. One landfill. Do we have stack inserts yet? We have filter and stuff. No, no stacks yet. Could be time to start doing some research, actually. Um, I had kind of been delaying it because I wanted to conserve materials for other things, make sure we got our defenses up, things like that. But um, we're coming close to the time to really start kicking that stuff back off. We'll see. We'll see you next time. I do appreciate you watching, though, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.